name is Joy Kill, and I come from a place called The Crags. The Crags kind of reminds me of my dad's dick. I'm super humble and grateful to have come from there, but I never want to fucking see it ever again. <laughs> Hanoi kind of reminds me of my mother's vagina. <laughs> Always moist and filled with hot garbage. <laughs> or as my dad likes to say, all day seafood buffet. <laughs> I have a younger sister and we're actually very different. She's a horse person. I'm more of a human person, if you know what I mean. In high school, she was very jealous of me because I could do a very good impression of a horse, which kind of goes like this. It was kind of like that, but not with my face lips. Let's just say that I could do a pretty good show with my little show pony. <laughs> I'm talking about my hairy little Shetland. <laughs> my salty sea biscuit. <laughs> um, I'm talking about my vagina. <laughs> my sister's actual horse and my vagina actually have a lot in common. The horse's name is Forest Blade. My horse's name is Ocean Pistol. They're both prize winners for Ride of the Year. And there is nothing they enjoy more than devouring a big fat carrot. <laughs> Tejo is full of STDs. <laughs> or should I say, Tejo is the STD of Vietnam. I don't know, you guys tell me. STDs in Taiho are what Vietnamese fried rice is to expats. A lot more kum than zang. There's no shame in getting an STD, but there is shame in how you let a person know. Like for example, I got a message from a guy two months after I had sex with him, and all it said was, hey, I totally had chlamydia when we fucked. <laughs> Not the best way, but you know, at least he got in there short and sweet, just like the sex. <laughs> My friend had an STD and she had to tell the guy. So she messages him and she says, you've got an STD. Super thick dick. I've got an STD. Sexually transmitted disease, you should get checked. <laughs> I thought that was the best way, but he did not. So he replies, you've got HIV. A hugely impressive vagina. I've got HIV. Full-blown AIDS. <laughs> My favorite show on Netflix to watch these days is RuPaul's Drag Race! If you don't know the theme song, it goes like this. Come on, girl! Put that bass in your walk! Head to toe, let your whole body talk, and what? I love the ending of that song because it's like a threat, you know? And what? I love it. I love it because it's like the drag queen Olympics. If those queens do not come to slay and play, they sashay away. It is brutal. And I apply the same tactics in my classroom. Because we all know the similarity between my students and drag queens is sticky balls. <laughs> when a queen on the show has to go home or stay. RuPaul will say something like, your boot was rather cute this week. Shantae, you stay. And to the one that needs to go home, 
he'll say something like, your screaming did not leave us screaming. Sashay away. Was that five minutes? Thank you guys so much. Yes.